killed him. Where are you going, young lady? I was just going to take a bath. In a traveling suit and with a handbag? Well, Mother, you see... I thought so. Oh, Mother, I love Harry so. Oh, I've told you I won't allow you to marry Harry Knott until I get his father, the judge, to marry me. And that's final. But, Mother, Harry has made all arrangements. I'll take this with me, and I'll lock you in to boot. Oh. Say, listen. I've just engaged two capable men. They're going to spirit you out of the house to my car this afternoon. Uh-huh. Say, they're fast workers. Clear thinkers, sincere, conscientious, alert fellows. And always wide awake. Come on, get up from there. It's all right, officer. We'll move along peacefully. Oh, it's you, is it? Say, listen here. Just because we're working for you don't mean to say you can trifle with my soul. You heal you. What's the idea, Jack? Well, I I'm talking to Bunny. Oh, a rabbit fancier. No, my girl. A quiet. Attention, Blodgett, get on the job. Yes, sir. You bet. Sure, they're always on their toes. On your toes, Blodgett. Oh. Ta-da! That's why they're here. We're just chinning it over. Hurry, hop! Uh -huh. <clears throat> Ta-da! They can't miss. They're sure fire. You may fire when ready, Gridley. So you can't take it, eh? Who said so? Pardon me, Mr. Napoleon. I thought you were a picture. Back. I'll never agree. It would be a blot on my name. Blot on his name. We'll soon fix that. Blot on his name, Blodgett. Hey! Efficiency is everything, you know that? File for future reference. So far, so good. What next, Ajax? Well, you've got to hurry and get Bunny out of the house. But be careful. Remember, no one must know, especially my father. Leave everything to us. It'll be as secret as Walter Winchell's collar. Bees, eh? No, no, quiet. Your father is on his way up, sir. Oh, my, my dad's coming up here. He mustn't see you two here. Hide, hide someplace. Oh, that'll never do. Quick, Blodgett, into the brewery. Gangway. Dad. Hello, nothing. I've heard all about you and that bunny bender, and you're not going to marry her. Well, now, now don't get excited, well, Dad. I'm not getting excited, but I'm not going to marry that scheming mother, and you're not going to marry the daughter, and that settles that. Oh, but, Dad, have a heart. Oh. I, I, I tell you, let you and I go to lunch and talk it over. Lunch? Uh-huh. That reminds me. What? It's time for my watermelon. Oh, Boy, how I love my watermelon. Yes, sir. <laughs> and I've got a dandy right in there on ice. Well, let me get it for Never you. Never mind, I'll get it myself. <laughs> Look, Blackett, the Graf Zeppelin laid an egg. <laughs> Who are these fellows? Uh -huh. Oh, we're the two new serving stores. Yes, I, I just engaged them for you, Dad. Oh, well, that's very good. That's thoughtful of you. Well, come on, hurry up, serve my melon. Okay, uh, shall I slice it, or will you swallow it whole? Slice it. Fair enough. Hold it, Roger. Okay. Roger, you know I've often wondered, what causes the water in a watermelon? That's easy, to plant the seeds in the spring. Please, Roger, have a little respect for old age. Plant the seeds in the spring. Here you are. Serve that to roly-poly. Okay, coming up. Here you are, tiny. Never sliced my watermelon like that. Didn't you tell them how to serve my melon? Dad likes it served on the half shell. On the half shell. On the half shell. On the half shell. Coming up. Ah. <laughs> 
watermelon surprise. Ah, that's the way I like it. I don't like this. Well, that's the best part, Judge. Certainly. Bring me a spoon. Here you are, right here. Oh, no, no, no. I never eat my watermelon with a little gadget like that. I want a great big spoon. All right, I'll get it for you. Coming up with a big spoon there. <laughs> Get oh, in. Uh, no good. Too big. <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's, that's a happy medium. That's small. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it right there. Say, pardon me, Judge, but are you just going to eat or are you going to dig in for the winter? <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> Weather report. Heavy showers in vicinity. You don't want to get it in your ears. Man the lifeboat, Skipper. <laughs> Coming up with a lifeboat. <laughs> <laughs> That'll keep your head above water, Judge. <laughs> you know, boys, Sometimes I'd almost sell my soul for a good piece of watermelon. Well, you have the right chassis for watermelon eating. <laughs> Dad knows of our elopement. Now you've got to work fast and get Bunny out of the house. I'll get that rabbit out if it takes all the carrots in town. Well, hurry or we're sunk. <laughs> don't worry about me. See that your old man don't sink in that watermelon. <laughs> On to Bunny, Blodgett. Okay. <laughs> Not that. About Bunny Bender. Not another word. I'm going over there this afternoon to talk to her mother. As soon as I finish my watermelon. I'll put a stop to that romance once and for all. I'll never let a knot get tied to a bender. Yeah, but, Dad... Now, stop. Don't you see I'm in conference? <laughs> <laughs> Look, another rabbit. Get out of here. Don't shove blood. Where are your manners? Here, file this for future reference. Okay. Let me do the talk. All right. What's the matter with... Ah, oh, Machen in uniform. <laughs> Who are you? I am... Stop right there. A likely story, that. Does that mean anything to you? Oh, you are the two guards the mistress sent for. Yes. No. Let's get together on this thing. Of course we're the two guards. Well, won't you step in, sir? Not so fast, my good man. I'll have to search you first. Put up your hand. Quiet, quiet, turn around. No guns. That looks suspicious. Now be very careful. Have you ever seen this before? Yes, sir, that's the doormat. Quiet, I'll make my own deductions. That may be full of fingerprints or fleas. Right. You take charge of this. Very good. I'll hang it right there. There you are. May I show you in now, sir? Certainly not. We mustn't be seen together. And guard that doormat with your life. Yes, sir. Look, his forehead has free wheelie. <laughs> Take my advice and have that scalp simonized. Come on, Blodgett. Hey! Oh. Oh. Does this mean anything to you? Why, I don't know. Quiet. I'll have to search you. Put up your hands. Routine work is all. Turn around, please. I'll wave that. No guns. Are you the secretary? No, just maid. How interesting. The, the secretary was maid first. Then she was promoted. No doubt. Now, I'm made. Oh, you modern girls. Well, come on, Blodgett. Now, remember, our motto is silence. Hey, look! Football! Uh, hey, come on, gang! <laughs> 4764656. For good old Bolivia. Future effort. Oh, oh, oh. And quiet, please. This time I'll lock you up for good. Well, hey, wait a minute. Come on, I'll oh, oh, eat you. After them, Blodgett. Hey, hey. Stop. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, whoa. Stop. Hey, what's going on here anyway? Come, you can speak freely. I used to be a window cleaner. Get out of here. This is none of your business. Madam, chivalry is not dead. It's the business of every man with red blood in his veins to protect the innocent and the weak. Attaboy! That's all right, gal, but take it easy. Yes. Boy, I'm ashamed of you, you great big pelican what? you. Why, for two cents, I'd... Stop! Don't you dare touch me. Why, I don't even know you. Well, I've touched a lot of people who didn't know me. Well, don't you touch me, you... you mud turtle. Mud turtle, am I? I'll oh, show you. Oh, I'll show you. you. What's Hi, that? Bunny Bender. Uh, glad to meet you, Miss Bender. Mr. Blodgett. How do you do? Hi, Mother, Mrs. Bender. Glad to meet you socially. You oh. called me a mud turtle, Lord. Oh. Come on. Oh. 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 Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Well, we're not getting any place at all. 
You gals are just giving us boys the runaround. <laughs> Will you get out of here? And let me tell you one thing, young man. When I lose my temper, I'm a tigress. You're not a tigress, you're a panther. <laughs> There's a pimp. Don't you dare talk to my mother like that. Well, I was only oh, talking. I'll scratch your right Get out of here. They're off their nuts. The tigers and the cubs, too. Wait, wait a minute now. Stop, everybody. I can settle this whole affair. You and I will get out of here and leave the ladies fighting out among themselves. What, and not protect me? You coward, you. I'm here to protect this little wildflower if I have to lay down your life to do it. After him, fellas. I'll show you. Here, here, what does this mean? Stop. Stop. Well, look who rolled in, the judge. What's the meaning of this unusual conduct? Unusual is right. We were lying here on the table, quietly minding our own business, which in itself is unusual, when all of a sudden, this vampire drew a knife on me that long. Longer than that. I, I never drew a knife. Well, it might have been a fork. I'm a little nearsighted. Well, after all, I bear no malice. I found the exercise very exhilarating. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, what are you two doing here? They're working for me. They are not. They're working for me. Now, wait. There seems to be a little misunderstanding here. Secret mission. Don't tip it off. We'll explain later. Oh, I see. You do? Uh, you'll pardon my intrusion, but I'd like to speak to you privately. Why, of course, Judge. Wait in the other room and I'll be with you in a moment. <laughs> now, here's the key. And here's the girl. You lock her in the bedroom. You understand? Right. Don't worry, miss. We're your friends. Harry sent us over. Bellboy, front. Did you ring, sir? Show this lady to room 206. OK. You're, you're lucky, miss. There's a convention in town. We only have one room left for the bath. Right this way. Traveling man gave me a dime once. Well, I feel a whole lot better now that I find we agree in the matter. Oh, Judge. Huh? <laughs> it would be hard for me not to agree with you on any subject. <laughs> Uh, make yourself comfortable <laughs> on the love seat, Judgey, <laughs> and I'll be right back. <laughs> oh. I'm Mrs. Bender. Quite so, Mrs. Bender. And what's the real name? I mean, what's the first name, please? Uh, uh, Fanny. Fanny. Ah, beautiful old-fashioned name. Fanny Bender. Whimsical and romantic. <laughs> Well, Fanny, old gal, what's on your mind, or vice versa? Now, your duty is to prevent my daughter's elopement with the judge's son until I land the judge. Oh, I see. You've got the old blubber hook, eh? <laughs> Have you locked her in the bedroom? Sure, and there's the key. Oh, no one will get it from here. <laughs> Only time will tell that, Fanny. Hey, what? They told me to guard it with my life. And I got a file list. Don't you realize that gal's happiness depends on Fanny marrying Judge Not? I got you. You got what? Judge Not. Judge Not? Yes, Judge Not, lest ye be judged. I'm going to judge a knot on your dome if you don't quit pulling wheezes like that. Gentlemen. Uh, Why, who are you? Why, I Stop am. Stop right there. A likely story, that. Does that mean anything to you? Oh, we did that once. Well, check up on those things, Blodgett. Okay. I still have it. Where is it? Oh, Matador. Now, there's a good pun. Don't sit down too much or you'll wear out your welcome. No. And did you uh, file that for future reference? Why, I couldn't find a file, sir. Would you gentlemen like some lunch? Lunch? Listen, I'm a man like this. When I have important things to do, I haven't any time to think of lunch. Which way is the pantry? It's right out there. I see. Ah! Get out, everybody! Every man for himself there, Jack. Is that a sporting thing to do? <laughs> Beer. File these for future reference. Yes, yes. What do I see? Well, well. Watermelon. Watermelon is right. <laughs> oh, what? Here's another one. <laughs> Watermelon, judge. An inspiration. What is it? Don't you realize these watermelons mean romance to Bunny and Harry and also to the judge and Fanny? Why, what are you going to do? Never mind. You get the tray and the knife. Yes, sir. And hey, which way are the back stairs? Look out for him, he's tricky. They're right out. Oh, oh. oh Judge, you're so impetuous. <clears throat> what is this strange power you have over me? It must be magnetism. <laughs> I'd call it love. Think of it, Blodgett, a beautiful love story motivated by a watermelon. <laughs> yes. Egad, what a plot for a movie. Oh. I'll answer that. Here, Riggle, hold the melon. <laughs> Hello? Yaza? It's Harry. What? 
We won't have to kidnap the girl after all. Where are you? Good. Rush right over. By the time you arrive, we'll have Fanny's consent. Okay. That was Harry. He's coming right over. Yeah. Quick, give me that. We must work fast, Blodgett. Oh, baby! Oh, Judge! <laughs> oh, Judge, please control yourself. <laughs> How can I with what I see? <laughs> That's the way he likes them. Red and juicy and cold as ice. Oh, I, I don't think I can wait much longer. Well, why wait? Isn't this the time and the place? <laughs> the best melon I've ever tasted. I should say it is. Oh, Judge, you mean you want me to be your little wife? Uh, you want it now? Yes. Oh, Judge, I am yours. Eureka, we win. Serve the watermelon to the judge. Yes, oh, oh, I must go and spread the glad news. Oh, hey, well, what are you doing with the watermelon? How about my watermelon? I'm uh, coming right down, sir. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> ah, look, Blodgett, two little lovebirds. <laughs> Blessings on you, my children. And as the poet said, it's sweet to love, but oh, how bitter to love a girl and then can't get her. Shake a spear. <laughs> <laughs>